if you aren't using Fedora it's very possible to don't know that, but there is this little stupid extension that adds a Fedora watermark to the desktop. Enable it first, and open its preferences next, and make then it visible for any background. So now we get this Fedora logo on the right bottom, that May was there in all previous GNOME releases too, but GNOME 40 is more special because it scales the background on overview. So the logo is following accordingly, and there is a small bug on calculating its position, that makes the thing so much more interesting. Let me demonstrate to you the greatness of all this. For start we're gonna change the logo, and place our real self. Then, we'll proceed with some necessary adjustments, only to discover how hard the preview fails. Come on Fedora devs, wanna join Canonical? Okay, ready! Let's teleport to a clean workspace, and oops! That desktop switching animation isn't that good, but I'll trade it off because the overview entering animation is so sweet! Second to slow it down, to show you exactly the reason it's so sweet! We'll slow down animations from the Just Perfection extension, which ironically is an extension that mostly removes shell components. So basically it is like saying, Yo Gnome, you suck! And then it removes everything to make it perfect! Anywho, for now let's set the speed to slowest, and by the way, I'd like if developers were putting actual numeric values rather keywords on such cases. But back to main event, and let's now see the perfection! Notice this tiny vertical move Coco does, which is a bug, but also what makes it so cute. Then again, entering on app picker is awful, but who goes there anyway? On other urgent matters, we now have spell check on GNOME text editor. That's the app to replace gedit, and it is on gtk4 and gtk source view 5. Of course for getting wholesome, we have to wait for the vim support, or you can contribute it yourselves if you dare! In the meantime, remember the demo with the borderless controls? Yesterday we had the first commits, but nothing's on main branch yet! That's the old, and still the old, but with the light theme! And that's the new, and only the close button is now a background! And the open button too! And with the dark theme! So, both on hover and on active states we have a background! but nothing's final! Software lately has lots of action, and for start they fix the app boxes on front page that were wrapping the text. But I wouldn't keep my hopes high for anything really useful. For example, apart the nice but yet not really useful carousel, we have these new indicators instead of having related apps. So Blender isn't optimized for phones? Okay, I'm removing it, stupid? Speaking of stupid, we have this commit that it only removes the background color from the workspace background actor. Results? Up to 15% faster when entering on overview on 4K resolutions. Testing maybe? So you see? We ended up exactly as we started. An original baby woke movie plot! Hi!